Welcome, everyone. My name is Lindsay Smalling. I'm the producer and curator of SOCAP. I have the best job in the world because I get to invite people like Hunter, who have been leading this field for a long time, amazing artists like Bamuti and Sonia, uh, and all of the amazing speakers that you're going to hear over the next few days. And we know that there's just as much insight and wisdom and energy coming in from this crowd, so I'm so excited you're all here. Uh, SOCAP is my favorite three days of the year. That's why this is my job. And the work that we do here needs to be more than three days because you'll find that over the next few days, you make so many amazing connections. There's so many people that you had no idea you needed to be working with that are really the, the next step in what's getting you to what you're trying to achieve. We wanted to, we're 10 years old now, continue doing that more throughout the year. And so earlier this year launched the Good Capital Project, which is a two-year initiative from the SOCAP group to continue the amazing work that happens here throughout the year and really find a more intentional way of taking this collaboration platform that we've built, you've all helped us build over the last 10 years, and ask you to help us build this field together over the next two years. So I'm really excited to welcome to the stage John Morris, who's going to rally this crowd and get you all involved in the Good Capital Project. Welcome, John. Thank you. <laughs> Lindsay is amazing, as most everyone here knows. And uh, she never stops. Um, it is so amazing to be in this room uh, with this group uh, at the 10th anniversary of SOCAP. We're not only celebrating 10 years of vision and hard work of our founders, Rosalie and Kevin Jones, but 10 years of curated conversations by many of you around so many topics that challenge, inspire, or exemplify an approach to empowering capital for better outcomes. Bob Caruso and I are so grateful that Kevin and Rosalie invited us to get on board the SOCAP train. Uh, it has been an amazing journey so far, and there's so much ahead of us. This room is incredible. That is, it's the only place I know that is made up of investors, lenders, Givers, builders, artists, entrepreneurs, engineers, and imagineers that are all values based and purpose driven. The brain power in this room and the experience base of the people who gather this week is inspiring. Earlier this year, the SOCAP team brainstormed around the best way to harness that power as a force for change beyond the SOCAP week to fully realize the impact economy. This led to the launch of the Good Capital Project. The fact is, Wall Street, from its beginning, was built around transactions. And therefore, capital has followed transactions, and a supply chain has been created that, that has created a really efficient capital market system. Consumers are now calling for a better system, one that includes purpose and sustainability and can turn our world's human challenges into our human investment opportunity. For us to accomplish this, it calls for the efficiency of the traditional financial markets, but embracing an impact lens to ensure that purpose and sustainability are embedded into the capital market system to create the world impact we're looking for. We are all here with a shared desire to apply human and financial capital to create a more just, more sustainable and more inclusive, empowering world around us. But it can be frustrating. If 
Imagine impact investing as a restaurant. Food is essential to life as capital is to business. There would be healthy and fresh ingredients sourced from local producers to serve various preferences. There would be culinary experts to turn those ingredients into mouth-watering solutions that fit many personas. The menus would be designed to give clarity around those options, and the waiters would be trained to make that very best dining choice for you personally. We would all leave this restaurant happier and healthier. We need systems, an efficient supply chain, an investment taxonomy, the plumbing or connective tissue that unifies our common passion and intentionality with our ability to succeed. We need common curriculums, shared databases, online product catalogs, templated legal documents, a unified industry lexicon, advisor certification, impact research that fits different customer profiles and asset classes. We need open source directories of, of failed and successful case studies, and on and on and on. So how do we create a better restaurant with happier and healthier outcomes? What's missing? How can we change this? Is there anyone stopping us? Is there a law stopping us? Is there a set of cultural norms that's holding us back? Our view, this is not a supply and demand problem. This is not a terminology problem. It's not a concessionary versus ROI debate problem or a perception problem around the term impact. This is a design problem. And here in the room are the designers. The design thinking movement, like SOCAP, also has its roots in this town. Tim Brown, founder of IDEO, which came out of Stanford Design School, has been a leader in bringing design thinking mainstream. Tim Brown spoke at the first SOCAP 10 years ago. Kevin Jones had the foresight to see impact investing as a design problem. Therefore, it's very fitting we launched the Good Capital Project a two-year design thinking approach to aligning the capital markets with the human needs of tomorrow during this 10th anniversary. Our design approach starts with empathy to understand the key pain points and finding right questions to ask. The definition to those questions by identifying the most crucial to ask and to who. Then ideation by asking those qu questions to all stakeholders and get the best ideas. We want to hear every possible solution to those questions. Making this not an either or, but a yes and approach. Then we'll curate those ideas to launch prototype solutions that can be achieved as the most viable projects within our two-year time frame. These projects will undergo testing and measurement, leading to a self-sustaining future and have a life of their own. The purpose of the Good Capital Project is to use design thinking and cross-sector collaboration to bring increased clarity, structure, and efficiency across the impact economy for full industry maturity. Most of the systematic changes needed in, in the industry are underway. Needed, uh, most of the systematic changes need to improve the capital markets of the future will undoubtedly come from the efforts being made by leading organizations in the room who have led this impact movement. You will be able to hear about a number of these initiatives over the next few days and we feel the Good Capital Project can amplify these efforts by reaching beyond the known leadership to the whole community, to other sectors, to be inclusive in connecting the dots.
we feel a dot connected is a network. Unconnected, it's an island. Impact of scale requires networks, not islands. So we welcome everyone in the room to participate and are looking forward to making sure we connect the dots to other networks globally. And one of you may just have that amazing differentiating idea that creates the first impact unicorn. Described at the Global Steering Group conference last July as an effort that improves a billion lives. The likelihood is that by designing the future together and connecting the dots, we will create a herd of impact unicorns that populate our new economy and achieve the sustainable development goals and surpass our wildest and most impactful dreams. The Good Capital Project has, has uh, asked that those people who want to get involved to self-select into six working groups focused on solving the grand challenges to mainstream impact investing. The teams will, be will use their collective expertise to bring the best ideas to bear. While the GCP design team will facilitate uh, the collaboration, research specific solutions, and prioritize deliverables. We had ha we've had over 10 events since the launch in June, have produced over 20 reports and interviews. The GCC uh, website has continued to evolve as a place to make all of this work available. We currently have close to 1,000 people who have signed up to be part of this design process. This project needs you. We're now in the ideation process, and there are a number of issues that we need help answering the questions and coming up with the best solutions. Please come by our booth, sign up for the project, help to provide your best ideas, and discover how you or your firm can get involved. When we dreamed up the Good Capital Project, we saw it as a way to invest back into our community and accelerate impact. But we have, could not have done it uh, alone. We're grateful to the courageous sponsors who helped us get this started two or three months ago. Deval Patrick and Bain Capital felt that this was needed for the impact industry and the board of uh, Investor Circle were very supportive of this effort, as well as leading participants across the supply chain who provided this project critical resources. We're also grateful to see so many of what I would call the impact pioneers come to support this effort. We will now be reaching out to a broader audience to support this effort, hope to engage as many partnership discussions with as many dots to build an amazing global network to design a better capital market system. Lastly, we celebrate the last 10 years of purpose and shared vision in this room. Please join me at marveling at the leaders that make up this community. Like a vintage champagne, this vision has fermented and this impact economy cork is about to pop. The fruits of your labor have turned the Kool-Aid that we've all been drinking into a robust California sparkling wine. Over the next few days, I hope you savor this impact meal and raise our celebratory glasses filled with your ideas that are all bubbling up to design a world of good and leave this restaurant knowing we are healthier, happier. Let's design a world of good together. Thank you.